A courtroom shocker as an accused mass shooter pleads guilty to all 16 charges. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Sherry Jones. Nearly three years after a city was terrorized as six people were shot and killed at random in Kalamazoo, the accused gunman, Jason Dalton, admitted he pulled the trigger. Our Aaron Jordan is here for you now live with a wrap up of this surprising plea and reaction from both sides. Aaron? Well, Sherry, both the prosecution and the defense came to court today thinking jury selection would start as scheduled, but as it turns out, there would be no trial. Jason Dalton's attorney says the guilty plea was against his advice, but he believes Dalton's family and the families of the victims influenced Dalton's decision. As to that charge, how do you plead? Guilty. As to that charge, how do you plead? Guilty. 16 counts and a plea of guilty on charges of murder, attempted murder, and using a gun to commit a felony. It comes nearly three years after a horrific night in Kalamazoo back in February of 2016, where eight people were shot at random in three different locations in a matter of hours. Six of them were killed. Two others, including a 14-year-old girl, suffered serious injuries. Today, Jason Dalton admitted he pulled the trigger. You're doing this voluntarily of your own free will. Yes, I've wanted this for quite a while. Dalton worked as an Uber driver and was picking up riders between the shootings. After his arrest, he told police the Uber app possessed him and told him who to kill. And during a court hearing, he had to be dragged from the courtroom after an outburst toward one of his surviving victims, Tiana Carruthers. Today, Dalton was much more subdued, speaking only when the judge asked him a question. His attorney, Asebio Solis, says the plea is not something he expected. It took me a little by surprise because uh, throughout our discussions, he was uh, intent on going to trial, uh, though I think he was influenced uh, these last few days by his family. Solis went on to say Dalton wanted to spare his family and the families of the victims from enduring a trial. Prosecutor Jeff Getting says while he's relieved the case was resolved without a trial, the motive for the shootings might never be known. The why question is one that haunts us. You know, everybody wants to know. Um, Mr. Dalton will have an opportunity at allocution at sentencing as will the victims and their families. Um, I don't know if he will ever say why. Dalton's family, as well as his ex-wife, released a statement saying, in part, their hearts are broken for the victims, adding, quote, nothing we can say is adequate, close quote. Dalton will be back in court for his sentencing hearing next month. Sherry, back to you.